right, what I'd like to do is show you guys how to find the domain and the vertical and horizontal asymptotes when given a, a rational function. So the first thing when dealing with the domain is obviously we need to go and find um, what is going to make our, um, we need to set our denominator to zero. And the first thing, just to let you know, uh, I'm, that's my rational function, I have two polynomials. We have an n over x and a d over x, okay? So pretty much to find the domain of a function, you remember we can go ahead and set our bottom denominator to equal to zero. So I have zero, zero is equal to one plus two x, I subtract one, therefore I get a negative one equals two x, divide by two, divide by two, x equals negative one half. So, let's go ahead, just in case you guys can see it, x equals a negative one half, okay? Um, so therefore, that is our domain. I'm sorry, so our, our domain is gonna be all real numbers except for when x equals negative one half. Now, the next thing we need to do is when determining if they have, if we have an x or a y intercept, what we need to do is we need to look at, um, we need to look at our our, ver our exponents, okay? And up here, since both our exponents have a one, we know that our exponents are going to be equal to each other. So when I want to find, um, when I'm looking to go ahead and find our horizontal asymptotes, I'm sorry, uh, what we need to do is we need to look at the exponents, okay? Now there's a different thing for each one. Whenever you have uh, whenever you have n is less than m, okay, your asymptote is going to be y equals zero. Whenever you have n is equal to m, you have now your asymptote is going to be a over b. And if you have n is greater than m, then whenever you have n is greater than m, therefore then you're, you do not have an asymptote. Okay, so when looking at this, I say that, all right, I have these exactly the same. So now I need to look at the by fraction, which is gonna be A over B. So for this equation, I look at this and I say, well, my uh, horizontal asymptote is gonna be a negative five over two, because that is my coefficient for my coefficient of this uh, polynomial over this coefficient. So it's just gonna be my horizontal Horizontal asymptote is going to equal um, y is equal to negative five halves. And then to find the vertical, if you guys remember vertical, it's just going to be, well, to find the vertical, you just need to determine um, when you have, well, obviously when x is going to you know, equal zero. So I just need to go ahead and solve for when my numerator is going to become, when my neuter, numerator is equal to zero. So to find my vertical, I have zero. Mr. McLogan. Yes. Do you have a Mr. Martin here? Who? Mr. Martin to see you. Joe Martin. Oh, okay, yes, thank you. Um, could you send him to my room, N101, please? Absolutely. All right, thank you. Okay, bye-bye.